Wondering what essential fresh water is and why it's adding to your rates bill? Kia ora. I'm Chris McClay, Chief Executive, Waikato Regional Council. Throughout April, we're consulting on our long-term plan, or LTP for short. It's where we decide what we're going to do, how much we need to spend, and the impact it will have on your rates. And it's this plan that you get to have a say on. Essential fresh water is something you're going to hear about a lot. So join me as we talk to our Chairman, Russ Remington, about the tough job councillors have balancing affordability and the essential freshwater work that we need to do, and we need to do it at pace. What it's about is making and stopping the denigration of our waterways and uh, making our rivers and lakes swimmable and uh, our communities actually 100% behind it. They've been asking for it, uh, iwi and families and uh, even the farming community. We're actually leaders in the community uh, in this matter. Uh, with Healthy Rivers, we demonstrated that well before it was required by government. So we've been absolutely well ahead of the curve and very proud of it well and great relations with the central government. And uh, our investment's been huge and uh, we'll make certain that uh, we continue to be leaders in this area. Central government, while their high ideals and their vision from the former government, the coalition government, and endorsed by the current government, there's costs come to that. And it's a 2% rate increase in this region that's going to be borne by the ratepayer. And uh, there's no government kind of uh, uh, investment. So, uh, yeah, it is a cost, particularly when it comes to the monitoring, extensive monitoring is required, liaison with the landowners. There's a huge amount of work this council will be involved in. Like we've got a, a savvy budget, we see it as absolutely core business um, and uh, spreading it over a period of time is the only way to do it, um, otherwise it's just the, the bumpers too, too severe. Yeah.